Okay, red song. Get the bitch on the front song. In the bed, get low. Yeah, I'ma hit the lick at the omen. All right, what's good with y'all? I made, so I found some now, man. I made the best sharpshooting type build, but not this build is not just a sharpshooter, man. It's more like a shot creating sharpshooter. It's like I don't know. It's it's probably the best shooting build in my opinion. If you play this game just like you know to shoot threes, you know get an ankle breakers here and there. I found the build, but uh yeah. Later on in this video, I'm gonna show y'all gameplay of me using some cheesy moves to get open at the three and y'all gonna see if y'all do not know how to do those moves already if y'all want a tutorial I, I can make that tutorial but the moves aren't really hard to do but I, some people you know just really have problems figuring out uh you know type of moves and dribble moves and i know a lot of people are gonna say uh like when i show the moves oh uh, why why like you're breaking the game Bro, if I don't make this video, the next somebody else is gonna make the video, so it really doesn't matter. So we might as well put all the ex everybody just put all the exploits out there, cause somebody's gonna find it and make it anyway. But as you can see here, I made a small forward already. Small forward. Look at my uh three point. Uh, it's at a 93. My mid range shots at a 93. Now we're gonna make we're gonna turn that into a 95 right here, as you can see. Y'all just gotta pay attention with me. And uh, yeah, I'm really just I was debating on even updating up. Oh my god, updating, upgrading my interior defense because I'm not even an inside player. I'm like just an outside player. I'm a three-point shooter. Look at that close shot. My close shot's at 85 too. My driving layup's not that bad. It's at a 67. But I feel like sharpshooters are not going to be as versatile inside this year as they were last year. But they're going to be more versatile towards the three, like with fadeaways and everything. Now, as you can see, if I bring the height down to 6'5", I'll have a 95 ball control. But, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to keep the height at, I said ball control, 95 three-point. But I'm going to keep the height at 6'7". I'm not going to lower it nor uh, make it taller, especially don't make it taller. But height at 6'7", we're going to keep that at 6'7", and lower his weight all the way. And we're just going to bring down the wingspan until we see that 95 three-point. Now, you, have, you don't have the lowest wingspan, but you just have it small enough to where, you know, you'll have a 95 three. But this thing right here, bro, when it said po I could have a post score grand badge, that's why I said this build is like a demi guy. Like I don't I don't really know what's happening here. Like I don't know why this build, why am I able to even get that badge. I thought I would be able to get like more of a shot creator badge or a um you know a dribbling badge before a post score badge. I was not thinking about that. So uh I feel like this build could be really cheesy, especially since we could change our grand badge. I really might make this my second build. I can see me playing with this build. You know, playing around with uh, the post score badge and then just going back and forth. But this build is really different. Like, I'm gonna really show y'all gameplay too. Y'all just gotta stay tuned for that part. I could really like break ankles with my grand badge. With my sharpshooter grand badge, I could break ankles. You look at how many uh, dribbling upgradable badges I get, bro. That's 14. And y'all gonna see what I could do with those 14 upgradable badges. But I was just going back here to just check on something about the post score badge. And, uh, cause I was really confused. I lowered my post moves to see what it changed my badge, which it did. I was just really, I was just really confusing to me. I don't know why. Like, like, I, bro, I was really shocked to see that I could get a post score grand badge. But, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I might just bring that back up when the game first comes out. Cause when the game first comes out, I'm still making my play shark type build. I want to be a dribbler. It's fun to me. It's a fun thing in the game. ISO. But my second build, my comp build, this I can see this as being my comp build, bro. Cause I feel like glass cleaners and sharpshooters are gonna, are gonna come back this year. Like especially, man, from the moves y'all are about to see, the cheesy moves I'm about to do in this video, you can see why glass cleaners might be useful this year again. And stretch bigs, I don't know. I don't. I think stretch bigs are gonna be trash this year, in my opinion. Like I actually think they broke stretch bigs unless they're just spotting up. I feel like stretch bigs cannot do anything by themselves. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go up with the spot up shooter badge and look look at my build a three level score i didn't know i've never seen anybody i don't know i haven't really been watching tutorial i'm pretty sure somebody made a build like that but i haven't seen anybody make a three level score i never heard of it before so when i seen that i was like what the hell but i'm upgrading my dead eye all the way i'm up you need quick draw quick draw you have to upgrade bro like that quick draw is making your release fast you need range extender you need difficult shots basically if you're gonna make this build i would suggest y'all do exactly what i do with the badges because i don't know i i just feel like because i was really sitting here debating like this was a real game like what badge i would have and usually when i just go with a build i just really don't care 
but since I have so many like you know upgrades like 30 for shooting I really thought about it finishing it didn't really matter I just put consistent finisher it doesn't you have one upgrade it's not gonna do much uh, for playmaking man you need tight handles the, the two badges you need to speed boost for these moves or whatever quick first step and tight handles and we can only, I don't know, this build was so OP, you can, I can only upgrade my playmaking badges to gold at max. Like, as you can see here, I can't even upgrade any Hall of Fame badges. But, uh, yeah, man, make sure I have quick first step and stop and go upgrade all the way. That's the, those are the main badges you need to do these little glitchy, not even, I'm not even gonna say glitchy, these little, I don't know, what can you call it? Because it's in the game, it's not bad to do, but I just do it a lot, so it's like, you know, like, it just looks cheesy, I guess. But yeah, I picked tight handles or whatever. Defensive, it doesn't really matter. I think I just want my pickpocket. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into the gameplay here. I'm gonna use Kevin Durant's jump shot because I don't know. I just like that. It's probably one of the best jump shots in here, me, in my opinion. But you see my name, man. Shoot ball, cause that's all we do. We shoot the ball, man. That's all we finna do in this video. That's all y'all finna see. All right, y'all, we're finna get into some of the moves I was talking about right now. So you see, all I'm doing is calling for a screen. Okay, that one was just a fadeaway. This was the first shot I ever took, and I actually hit it. <laughs> so, yeah, I started getting into it. I don't know why I'm gonna start doing the move, as you can see here. Just, like, you know, just hitting a couple of shots. But the, I'm not gonna lie, this is my first game I ever played with an actual shooter just shooting threes. The other time I was trying to dribble when I actually met my real players. And I was able to get my grand badge on the first game too. I don't know how, I was just able to get it. But as yeah, y'all gonna see right here what I was talking about the, uh, with the ankle breakers and stuff. You're able to break ankles with a sharp look. Ugh, green. And it happens consecutively. I was never able to get my grand badge again. I only tried twice. But look, boom. Consecutive. I was back to back, bro. Just falling. He fell again, but I missed that shot, so I didn't even put it in this clip. But you see that green? Ah, that's the cheese move I was talking about behind the back with the screen. Look, green. But yeah, man, you can consistently break ankles with uh, step backs with your sharpshooter grand badge if you make this build and you have the badges equipped uh, that I put on. You can consecutively break ankles off step backs, as y'all see there. But you can see another behind the back, easy money. Ah. But yeah, this was that was the first game I played. Now we already moved. We, in this gameplay, we already moved on to the game where uh, I tried to drop 70 points, but I ended up only dropping 69 because they started to double to me because they this game is just these computers be hating on me. I swear. But uh, yeah, you can see here. I'm just showing y'all a lot of greens. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. If you make this build, you will have a 95-3 and able to break ankles off step backs consistently with your takeover. Now, I don't understand how it went 60% damn near field goal percentage. And I was not able to get my grand badge this whole other game. Like I was I was actually trying to get my grand badge this game and I was not able to get it. I do not understand how when I'm trying to get my grand... Ooh, patch made. But I don't understand how when I was trying to get my grand badge, I was not able to get it. Like, as you can see at the top right, every time I got close, it would just take me out the game or be a new quarter and I'll, it just goes back down i literally would make like probably 10 threes in a quarter and was not able to get my badge y'all can check my shooting percentage too i'm not lying y'all bro this build is actually you know go to this this it's a nice build and this is on computers too six percent without really any help imagine if i'm playing park bugs bro who get hit by every brick wall screen and i'm pretty sure this the dude on my team doesn't even have a hall of fame brick wall especially this trash and bomb right here like oh my god his screen was terrible and i was still able to do a lot of stuff but you see the cheese behind the back if y'all want to know like i don't know how to mostly y'all should know how to do that move but if y'all want a tutorial on, on that move uh let me know but man this will be my second build this is my competitive build uh, hopefully they have stages here i haven't heard or seen anything about stages i'm pretty sure they will but you see that that was a little ankle breaker i've seen right there animation but you're gonna wait for the screen Oh, right here, I think I just shot it because that brick wall. He finally set me a good screen. But, uh, yeah, I suggest y'all make this uh, sharpshooter type build. You can break ankles too, bro. There's a lot to do. It's more versatile, like on outside, you know, offense, inside. I'm pretty sure this year's inside. We're going to be missing a lot of layups because I really, I, I see it. I can see it now. We're just going to be missing a lot of layups, bro. But, yeah, y'all, if y'all new, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe, and then share this video with y'all friends. Kind of cake grind. Let's try to get this man sub up. Turn on post notice, bro, because you already know I'll be uploading. And, uh, yeah, y'all, I'm out. And so Toronto takes this one by a big margin. Bombs away.